So, we are in Rovinia again. My beautiful town. So this is a story about Saint Euphemia. Every Sunday, 10 o'clock. I guess 99% of the people are coming to this church. Saint Euphemia is a protector of this village. And people really, really do believe in her. Me included. In Ravine for me happens so many most beautiful things. Most, most beautiful things. My life changed in, in Ravine tremendously. There is a story that um, sarcophag with uh, Saint Euphemia was found on the shore in Ravine in uh, year 800. There is a beautiful altar. There is a old church bell which used to be they replaced it, um, I think, five years ago with a new one that was uh, absolutely sophisticated operation with the helicopters putting a new bell and everything. In the tenth in the tenth century, uh, Ravine was one of the most distinguished Eastern towns. So people are gathering. Before 10 o'clock, they're going into the church slowly. Sitting down in silence, really waiting for, for a mass to start. Historians uh, cannot accurately define the time when the parish church of, of Rovinj was founded and uh, Christianity took roots in the Eastern coast as soon as the 3rd and 4th century. The building of the new church started at the beginning of the 10th century. In uh, 95, a basilica with uh, three assholes was completed. Uh, Saint Euphemia's sarcophagus uh, was placed in it, and the saint, to, uh, together with Saint George, uh, became the patron of the uh, of the parish and of the town. Uh, the parish of Ravine was ruled by the Patriarchate of uh, Aquileia until the year 965, when it passed under the Porridge administration. Porridge is a town 30 kilometers away. So now the, the mass starts. In the church there are um, several altars. There is an altar of uh, Our Lady of the Rosary. It is uh, by Valerio of Venice and is dated back uh, to 1864. There is an altar of uh, Saint Francis of Assisi by Giovanni Martiuzzi of Udine and that altar was restored in uh, 1779. Here we see the people after the mass finishing, young children. So they're going off the stage, so to speak.
they will soon come back as a very ordinary people in jeans and sneakers. There is a saying that um, Saint Euphemia or Saint Fuma had really healing healing attributes. I would personally agree with that. Here we see a young child. Saint Euphemia is usually put portrayed as a palm or with a palm of martyrdom in her hand surrounded by one of more lions or with a student cloak on because she is supposed to have attended a school in Cal Caledonia near Constantinople. People all over Istria are coming here to to pay the tribute or to get healed. <laughs> Altars. In Istria, the saint's name is very common and many women are named after her, like uh, Euphemia, Fuma, Fumica. Many years ago, in every family, there was a woman called Fiamita, Ita, etc. Many hymns have been dedicated to her. Um, by reading a little bit of the text, actually, I realized that the child of my girlfriend is called Ita, so this is how I learned that she is a saint, must be the truth. So there is Saint Euphemia. All those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reliefs, reliefs. The atmosphere in the church is um, very, very sacred. It's a quite big church. Everybody are uh, lighting their candles for for different purposes, for the wishes, for the living, and in the memories of death, for their love life, for the health of their child for the success in business or or whatsoever. So there is a sarcophag of uh, Saint Euphemia. People are also bringing the their own private possessions, small rings or figures, figurines, and put it in, putting it in the front of the sarcophag with the belief that uh, Fuma will give the energy to those objects or they're coming to to have blessings for, from Fuma. The sarcophag, sarcophag is uh, behind the altar. This woman is uh, praying with her two 
figures, figurines of Saint Foma. Uh, the uh, the wax mask on the face of the saint is uh, recently done in uh, 1953 by um, Mila Vod from Zagreb, from Croatia. It is uh, all in uh, Roman style. So there is Saint, uh, Saint Fuma with the uh, with the lions. tower there is a huge uh, statue of uh, Saint Fuma and it turns it shows also the weather so if you know if you want to know what's the weather tomorrow you just look at the church of course that uh, many romances are starting around here mine included on the end we're gonna hear uh, choir Marco Garbin from Rovin under conducting of uh, Libero Benusi <laughs> 